In this episode of Thylobytes, we're going to be looking at how to identify thylacine footprints. Our regular subscribers will remember our video detailing footprints in the snow and footprints in the mud. Well, how do you know if it's a thylacine footprint or not? We'll use this flyer made famous by Jeremy Griffith's 1980 search to explain. The thylacine has five digital pads on the front foot and four on the rear foot. Its claws are non-retactile. The front feet are called the manis and the back feet the pes. The pad of each foot has two grooves moving forward from the rear side and extending about halfway across the pad. These grooves are important in identifying the print as thylacine. The fifth toe is quite frequently not seen in prints and the long heel that's in this picture is also quite rare in historical footprints. The real trick in identifying thylacine footprints is not to mistake them for dog footprints. Here we have an example of a typical dog print. It features a two toes up arrangement and two toes back and an X shape can clearly be seen in the center of the footprint. That's all we have for this episode of Thylobites. We'll see you soon.